Good morning. It is Wednesday, October 2nd, and today is the memorial of the Guardian Angels. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, we'll be discussing how the devil divides. But first, your local weather and this news. Last night was the first and only vice presidential debate of this election, and voters across the state of Michigan tuned in, including these students at Oakland University. This is a lot better of a debate than I think the presidential debate where we saw things kind of go off the rails, and I'm talking about both sides. This one is more intellectual. They're not attacking each other all the time. Muhammad Smitty supports former President Trump and said he felt Vance was well prepared for the debate and, quote, really showed himself to be vice presidential. Another OU student, Maya Kursky, supports the Democrats, but was disappointed in the response by Walls to the first question about the war between Israel and Hamas and feels a genocide is being ignored. NBC News political and national correspondent Jacob Sabarov says Oakland University students could play a big role in this election. Given that the young voters here voted at a higher rate than any other um, sort of cohort in the, in the midterm elections, It's not an exaggeration to say that the people at Oakland University could be the decisive factor in the 2024 election. On the auto beat, General Motors is reporting a 2.2 percent drop in new vehicle sales in the U.S. for the third quarter. Sales of Chevrolet pickups to the fleet customers were down from last year, bringing the total figures lower. GM remains the top-selling automaker and sold 659,601 vehicles in the third quarter compared to 674,336 last year. Toyota in North America, second to GM, also saw sales drop 8% for the third quarter to nearly 543,000 vehicles. A former Holiday Inn in Kalamazoo will be purchased by the county and turned into a homeless shelter. The facility will have space for entire families, which is currently not allowed at other shelters. Kalamazoo County will put in $3.5 million for the project, while the city of Kalamazoo will spend $1.2 million, and Portage will spend $500,000. Over 98% of nearly 2,700 Michigan medicine healthcare workers have approved a one-day strike authorization at CIU Healthcare Michigan has been in contract talks with the healthcare system and wants pay raises to retain employees who work through the COVID-19 pandemic with wages frozen. Michigan Medicine officials say they're confident an agreement can be reached without a strike. And the Detroit Tigers are leading their best of three AL wildcard round one to zero after taking down the Houston Astros in game one at Minute Maid Park. Derek Skubal led the Tigers to a 3-1 victory after striking out six batters over six shutout innings. The Tigers continue their series in Houston today at 2.30 p.m. on ABC. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. Now this. The leading Catholic voices are on EWTN Radio. When you are predictable in your authority, you will actually have to use that authority less. Consistent discipline leads to less constant discipline. The more you act when you need to act, the less you will have to act in the future with similar misbehavior. The Doctor is in with Dr. Ray Garendi. We're going to have a pretty nice day today in Detroit. We'll have mostly sunny skies and a high near 68. Tonight will be clear with lows around 51. Thursday will be sunny with highs around 76. Friday will be mostly sunny with temperatures in the lower 70s. And Saturday will be sunny with highs around 70. We're going to have a pretty nice day today in Saginaw. We'll have sunny skies and a high near 69. Tonight will be clear with lows around 49. Thursday will be sunny with highs around 77. Friday will be partly sunny with temperatures around 70. And Saturday will be sunny with highs in the lower 70s. Teresa Tomio and Tom Nash recently had a discussion on Catholic Connection about how the devil divides us. 
Take a listen. I think it's super important what you talk about in terms of recognizing recognizing how the devil works, because one of the things he's been doing so well, as I said in the intro, is dividing this country. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, one of the things I've been stressing since the assassination attempt of President Donald Trump is yes. that we need to. Uh, I'm not saying that other people don't need to also change their approach and their attitude, but we, you know, what Chesterton said. I think one of the great things he said, many things, of course, but he said when he was asked what's wrong with the world, he said, "I am." Mm. And yeah, that yeah, we yeah. have to remember that we can't change anyone; only God can change a heart. And we have to make sure that we're not falling prey to a lot of what's out there, to a lot of uh, you know, dividing us and and uh, treating people poorly, whether it be in, in, in a comment on Facebook or a nasty email trying to do a one-up or a gotcha. Yes. It's, it's super important because then that adds to the division and doors yes. get closed and that prevents us from witnessing about Jesus to people. Amen. And well said on that. And, and it is, it's not just about f- four more years or in the merely temporal realm, but also in the everlasting, the eternal. And therefore, when we look at people, including those who are Catholic, who have you know, in the political world acting very much contrary to the faith and, and also receiving the Eucharist, God have mercy on them. In any event, when we come to someone and we might be very upset at them, in particular, it could be just in our everyday life out on the streets or wherever, remember that what St. Paul says, our enemies are not flesh and blood. That right. is our ultimate and irrevocable enemies. Everyone else is a prospect for conversion. And that goes yep. back to your, to your point about including ourselves on an everyday basis. And that it's rather it's the principalities, it's the powers, it's the... R- rule. Ephesians six, right? Ephesians mm-hmm. six, yeah. verse twelve, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. The, this present, the world rulers of this present darkness, the you know, the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places, they are our ultimate and irrevocable enemy, and therefore we always got to be looking at someone else as a uh, our brother and sister in Christ, made in the image and likeness of God. Somebody we won over. Somebody, even if you got to plant a seed, that they might think, hey. Wow, that person treated me differently, and they were Catholic. Catholic Connection is on weekdays at 8 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio. St. Bernard of Clairvaux says we should show our affection for the angels for one day. They will be our co-heirs, just as here below they are our guardians and trustees appointed and set over us by the Father. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings on a Wednesday. Lord willing, I will talk to you again tomorrow. And until then, goodbye.